So we talked about um, Armor Wars the other day. So I don't have to talk about that. I just saw that on Google. One thing that I did see that I, I kind of did want to speculate a little bit on. Um, I saw um, Armin over at Comic Book Cast 2. Um, I, I was watching his video today. Where it was, it was, it was talking about how people are irritated that Ms. Marvel's not a inhuman, but she's a mutant. Can I be honest about something? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, and I, and I'm, I have to, I have to hold myself to like a a, a certain responsibility, or I, I have to, I have to take fault for it too, because I was right there. We're not happy when the Inhumans first came out, with very good reason, with very good fucking reason. That show was ass, bro. Like, I cannot, I, I, I can't stress that shit enough. That show would have done so much better as a fucking movie, dude. What the hell were you thinking giving us something that seems so rushed? And I'm sorry, it's not, it's not that it seemed rushed, it was rushed. Matter of fact, fuck this, hang on. Why was the Inhuman show bad? Inhumans was nearly universally panned by both critics and audiences alike for its poor writing, horrendous production values, and dreadful pacing. On Rotten Tomatoes, the show has a critic rating of 11% and an audience rating of 33. The site's critics' consensus states Marvel's Inhumans set, uh, uh, sets a new low standard for the MCU with an unimaginative narrative, dull design work, weak characters, and disengaging soapy melodrama. No shit. On Metacritic, the show has a critic score of 27%, indicating, quote, generally unfavorable reviews, and a user score of 5, 5.0, or just straight up 5, indicating mixed or average reviews. The show currently has a 4.9 out of 10 on IMDb. Not only was it a critical failure for the MCU, but it was also a commercial failure. I'll shut the fuck up. The IMAX screenings of the first two episodes grossed only $3.5 million worldwide, and the ABC airings of the of the three, I'm sorry, of the episodes fared even worse, with the last episode having the worst ratings of them all, with only 1.95, basically two uh, million, I was about to say two billion, because that would, that would have been a dub on accident. <laughs> the only 1.95 million viewers worldwide. As a result, it lasted only three months and was canceled after eight episodes. It has been considered by many to be the MCU's first true flop in the worst MCU television series ever made. You are so fucking right. All that was great, but it's like, what does that have to do with it being rushed, right? For starters, the show, this show based on the race for Marvel Comics was a lazy yet cheap attempt by the former chairman of Marvel Entertainment, Ike uh, Perlmutter, per Perlmutter, to try and replace the X-Men as Marvel's oppressed minority characters since Fox had the film rights to the X-Men at the time. I get why they did that, why they would want to do that. It's because of the fact that we, we, we want to have some kind of mutation in the MCU so fucking bad. We want that that it gives us a reason to feel as if like until we actually get the mutants all the fuck in we can have a version of people who now get to experience a type of like mutation and shit via the fucking Terrigen mist and shit or however they would properly uh use that and it would have made a whole lot more sense because now in the MCU, we could have had like, you know, Miss Marvel been classified as a fucking inhuman. And I'm sure that they could have done something for the other characters that have been uh, debuted. But that also would have muddied it down to where, okay, yeah, they're simply inhuman. So now all of a sudden, it would have been like where El Aguilero or if, or Aguilera, if I, I know I'm fucking his name up, I'm ruining his fucking name. Uh, they would have classified him as an Inhuman. Mr. Invincible would have been an Inhuman. Ursa Major would have been an Inhuman. You see where this is going. Like, this, like there's so many ways that, that, that they could have turned everyone in the MCU into Inhumans. And it's just because they don't have the rights to the X-Men. And I get that. But here's where they majorly fucked up with it, right? You made it into a show. Because even here, here's, here's how... Just because I know when it comes to, like, production... Uh, quality 
you will want to make sure that when you're holding your cameras, it's not as if like you're holding a fucking phone and you know that there's still some shakes and shit in there. Uh, the sh uh, the Inhuman show was planned to become a movie in the MCU that was originally scheduled for release in November 2018. It, it would have made sense for this shit to be a fucking movie and, it it and for it to come out in 2018 because then you could have showed the Inhumans actually working alongside some of the Space Avengers. You know what I'm saying? From Tony to uh, Peter Parker to him working with the fucking Guardians. Um... You could have done a lot with that shit. Doctor Strange, you could have done a lot with that shit. They could have helped in and they could have done some actual fucking damage. Imagine seeing Black Bolt literally talking shit to Thanos and Thanos just dusting that shit up because he's got a fully fucking loaded Infinity Gauntlet. Think about that shit for a second. Because it wasn't a movie, it was released from it and, turn it in and made into a rush TV series with poor production values. So rub salt into the wound. The show premiered the first two episodes in IMAX theaters, which don't fit like any other theatrical movie since it's supposed to be shot in TV format. Why the fuck Marvel? Oh my God. And I know Kevin Feige signed off on this shit because this was this is literally a tie into the MCU. This is an MCU property that was shown on, 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 on fucking like ABC or Freeform with the other shows that are technically not MCU canon. Why did you put this in IMAX expecting people to, to turn up to this shit? Because even when I saw the trailer for it, yes, I was excited to know that you were actually doing something with the humans until I actually start going further into the trailer. And I'm like, yo, this doesn't look like it's going to be any kind of fucking promising. It's fucking bad, bro. It's bad. Holy shit. If anything, just air it on TV or um, some kind of streaming service, but then charge people because this was in 2018. You could have easily put it on like Amazon or done something, done a, a deal with like Hulu when Hulu was was fuck, was 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 um holding down like the runaways and cloak and dagger and shit like you could easily put this on hulu and have people just fuck it up but no you put this in theaters and of all imax theaters what the fuck were you thinking that this was gonna do this isn't like shield where shield could have could have easily gotten away with having an imax release and shit for the fact that you actually had a nick a that fucking samuel l jackson nick fury cameo at the end still showing that it had not only some relevance to the mcu if phil colson wasn't already enough of like a dead ass giveaway it fucking worked it wasn't so weird and money down and almost convoluted to understand bro this was fucked the so marketed uh imax cameras aspect only highlights the low budget effects and makeup awful dialogue throughout Black Bolt's actor has no lines and still manages to be awful in every scene due to his weird expressions and looking like he's gonna cry instead of looking intimidating. That's only because I feel like you didn't give him his his due justice with his, his outfit, right? Almost looks like he wanted to cry because he wasn't given a proper uniform. I'd cry, nigga, I look like I was upset too having to like stay quiet and look like a douche. Not even looking totally cool with my cool fucking fu Get the fuck. Okay. The very poor production values, okay? We're gonna go over that shit. The CGI is embarrassingly poor. Little, literally every single costume looks laughably cheap. Medusa's hair looks fake. It looks crunchy and dry. Uh, uh, Adelan should have looked like a futuristic utopia, but just looks like a cheap hotel on some like Umbrella Academy season four type shit, a uh, uh, hotel oblivion. You know what I mean? Like there's just, there's, it doesn't, it, it doesn't even matter what the, the reasons behind why this shit was so bad. It just know that it was bad. And yet everyone is mad that Miss Marvel has been given the mutation. I am, I myself do not want to believe that she is a mutant. I do want to believe that she is an inhuman, despite the fact that we don't want to claim this shit, I believe that she is a fucking inhuman. Because still, what does the Terrigen Mist do if not mutate your fucking cells, just like the, the fucking X gene was? I mean, would. But I'm not believing that Kamala Khan has the fucking X gene in her. I believe that the Bengals do have some trace of Terrigenesis because of the fact of the bangle was found on what could be described as a Cree wrist 
and to our understanding, inhumans are of Creed descent. So, if that's the fucking case, I would like to believe that Kamala Khan just so happened to have a bit of whatever the fuck, a uh, 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 Terrigen shit that was just tra traces of Terrigen that was left over from the, the bangle got into her shit. And she, from there, became a fucking inhuman. Because people are mad as fuck, saying that oh, now that she's a fucking mutant, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem right. She needs to be she needs to be a fucking inhuman. But guys, remember what the fuck just happened with the Inhumans? It's ass. Marvel is not going to want to associate itself with with the Inhumans like that. The only way that they can redeem this shit is if somewhere down the line, I'm talking like post Fantastic Four, they try again with any humans but this time they make it a movie for the simple fact of ever since multiverse of madness they gave us a accurate fucking black bolt so if they can give us an accurate fucking black bolt i guarantee they can do right the next time around because guys we bullied a production cup we bullied paramount into fixing sonic the hedgehog although i still have my my issues with that what's being recorded as is we bully paramount into redoing sonic i'm not saying bully marvel i'm not saying bully kevin feige don't bully anybody but what i'm saying is this if we can do that for sonic the hedgehog why can't we do that for the inhumans right we all still want to see the inhumans in the mcu so why don't we go on ahead and voice our frustrations and let them know don't write it off as like it's 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 fucking doa nigga bring it back Bring it back and do better. Try again, bro. And I know you can, I swear you can. And if anything, if you really wanna see it like anything, do it like this. The version of, of um, uh, the humans that we have right now, that's not, that's not our, that's not from our universe. A version of the of the humans that we have right now is not from our universe. It's from 23ZBA. I don't give a fuck. It's not, it's not from our 616 when really it's, it's 199999. It's, it's not from the latter universe. You can easily do another fucking, um, Inhumans property and it not be from, uh, or any kind of related to, to what the fuck was done already. All right. Last thing.